Let's take a look at some reproduction cartridges from AliExpress so we can see their varying quality. This is a cartridge that I think uh, is really awesome and is going to get its own video. This is a uh, Super Mario Brothers 3X. Uh, and it is, I mean, of, of course it's a clone cartridge, but clone cartridge with all new parts, right? There's no, it's not like it had a donor card or anything like that. Um, and here's one that I got most recently. This is uh, Super Mario World Return to Dinosaur Land. Now, when you're comparing these, you have to ignore, uh, for the most part, the quality of the, the ROM itself because the ROMs are developed by the, the ROM hacking community and they've got nothing to do with AliExpress. But this is the problem with it. Well, not the problem, but you can see that there's a degradation or, or a, a dip in the quality. All right. So, for example, if you look at the back here, there is a mock sticker. All right. And, it, and we have Nintendo. If you look at the back here, there's no sticker. The thing is blank. I, I don't mind this, really, because I, I just want to play the game on the hardware, and that's fine, but that's a thing. If you look close, if you look at it aside, look at the texture on the, on the plastic. You can see that this is matted. It's textured and whatnot. That's the way authentic games are. Uh, for comparison, this is an authentic copy of Wing Commander, right? You flip it over. It's textured, right? And we compare that to Return to Dinosaur Land, and you flip it over. And you can see the plastic is 100% is super smooth and thin. Let's put the two next to each other. Let's see if I can make it a little more clear what I'm talking about. Little dip in quality. Again, it, it doesn't really matter to me, the fact that this is a little cheaper. Because um, I think this, I paid a, a, maybe 10 bucks for this. I paid maybe 10 bucks, the same price for both of these. The big problem is when it comes to Super Mario World, Super Mario World was a game that 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 uh, supported saving, right? And the crappy cartridge doesn't save, which kind of sucks. But let's take a look at what I ended up with. Oops, holding the wrong controller. quality mods I like the creative stuff they do with that screen that's usually a sign that you're playing like a, an upper bracket uh, mod at least in my opinion but where is she this one's a bit more uh, stays a bit closer to the original game but what I like about both of these games is that they're um, they're more like Mario experiences rather than like Kaizo games. Right, you have uh, the dinosaur coins, which I'm going to skip because this is just a demonstration. But if I push a little further. Come on, just skipping all that. They added uh, red coins. Yeah, see, here we go. Flying red coins, they're worth five regular coins, but you gotta catch them because they disappear. So, really a quality game. Um, I was really happy to... Oop. I lost them right away. Come on. <laughs> I can't lose on the first stage. What am I, some sort of games journalist? Pretend I didn't say that. There we go. Look at that. So, so this is, I think, the coolest thing about this mod and the biggest letdown of this cartridge is that unlike the original Super Mario World, this is set to save every single level. Continue and save. All right. So there we go. Um, but if I turn the old boy off, turn it back on again. Okay. Mm Nothing. So I bought this cheaper game at Cinder Games, S-I-N-D-E-R, um, and eh, 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 I don't know. I just if they put something somewhere that was like no battery backup or something like that, 100% no problem. But I don't know. There you go. That's a little disappointment, disappointing. But that's the way it is when you do business with AliExpress. You win some, you lose some. The key is to find trusted sellers and stick to those. And I took a chance on this one going with Cinder um, and it didn't work out. So there you have it.